yourself for the apocalypse. Hey everybody, Chief here. Thanks for checking out my latest video. So before I get started with my uh, actual video, I wanted to bring you a little more breaking news. Uh, so there is an official announcement for this coming uh, test server. And as I brought uh, you in my last video, uh, Shieldbreaker is done. Uh, as of right now, Shieldbreaker module is uh, officially dead. Um, it will, uh, you know, who knows, maybe it can come back in a few months, but as of right now, it's uh, it's a done deal. Uh, they are going to look in uh, different directions. Now, uh, speaking of that, the uh, next test server is going to be uh, this uh, Saturday and Sunday as normal, and they're going to uh, have some uh, slight differences to the Behemoth and Phantom, basically making them prettier, uh, just, just as they do with uh, most bots as they uh, release them. Uh, they uh, further refine them as the test server uh, goes along um, but uh, they are also going to have the first round of some of the uh, balance changes I don't have a list of the uh, complete balance changes but uh, there will be a tweak to the Ares which will slow it down while it is uh, using its shield so this might be uh, something that can definitely help slow down those Ares trains and uh, bring it back down to reality so uh, I will definitely bring you a video about that um, but uh, another thing that they are announcing is the uh, change to last stand this is more of a visual change rather than a full nerf to the last stand and this was something that I believe Manny mentioned to them and uh, in a video as well to uh, maybe uh, give some kind of an indication on uh, a robot if they actually have last stand and at what point it is going to uh, uh, going to uh, go into effect so uh, that is something that they uh, went ahead and uh, put into the coding so we will get a chance to uh, check that out on the next test server as well now if you haven't actually been on the test server before uh, I uh, invite you guys to uh, go ahead and uh, uh, get on there uh, you know test some stuff out uh, test out the changes and give your feedback directly to pixonic um, I will uh, leave a uh, link to the Facebook test server page uh, in the video description below but uh, you know uh, that's that's kind of it that's the uh, breaking news now I will uh, go ahead and move on to my full video thanks for watching guys Okay guys, so everybody knows that the uh, latest event started this morning. The event is called Among the Stars. Now I'm just going to give you a real quick overview and then uh, after I do that I'm going to go ahead and roll out some special delivery crates and uh, let's hope to get some of this new loot. Um, as most of you have already seen in other videos or the official videos released by uh, Pixonic, the uh, event will have event tasks every day for you to complete. So if you complete all three of these tasks, you should get enough coins to uh, roll in the special delivery crate. So as you can see here, there are three tasks for today. First one is 1200 honor for dealing damage and destroying robots. The second is 1600 honor for getting wins. And the third one is 25,000 honor points total. Now. Don't let these numbers scare you. Uh, honor points is under the new honor system, which we've had now for uh, what, like a day. And uh, I'm still kind of trying to figure the system out myself. And when I do, I will bring it to you in the form of another video to give a uh, better in-depth explanation to the new honor system. But uh, as of right now, um, just to give you an idea of what you're going to need to do, uh, you get, I believe, 420 or so points for each win. So getting 1600 points for wins, that's going to be what, like uh, four games? Uh, four wins total so it's really not too bad um, and then uh, as far as getting damage for uh, dealing or 
getting honor points, excuse me, getting honor points for dealing damage to destroy or destroying robots. Um, that shouldn't be uh, too difficult either. You can get uh, anywhere from 100 to 1,000 points uh, per match. So uh, hopefully you guys are able to uh, get in there and destroy a few robots or at least do a, a good decent amount of damage and you should be able to pick that up within a couple of games at most. Um, then the uh, 25,000 total honor points. Uh, this one is going to take you a little bit more time but it's still not overly difficult. Um, I know myself, uh, I'm in Champion League, and last night I was getting anywhere from uh, 2,500 to 3,500 honor points uh, per match without a booster. Now, I understand not everybody is going to uh, get all those points, but uh, kind of give you an idea of what you need to do is probably about uh, 10 games, maybe. Um, win or lose, I don't think it really is going to matter too much, um, but expect to do about 10 games. Um, so you do have 24 hours to complete these tasks, and once you do complete those tasks, you will be able to come up here, uh, top left corner, and go to the special delivery crate and roll that out. Okay, now the uh, crate itself, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the prizes. Here we go. Uh, we've got the uh, brand new weapons with special skins, uh, the Freedom Hussar, the Freedom Avalanche, and the Freedom Igniter. These things look amazing. Uh, I think this is a great touch that Pixonic did here with uh, putting these uh, special weapon skins on here. Uh, it's a first for the game, but uh, they look pretty amazing, and I bet they perform pretty well at also, so I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully picking a couple of those up uh, so I can show you guys some gameplay with those as well. Uh, two new legendary pilots. Uh, these things, um, well, let's take a look at them. Uh, the first one here is Linda Kano. Uh, she pilots the Fenrir and her special ability for the Fenrir is his energy shield recharges faster. So, you know, I, I could see that being uh, fairly useful, but uh, not in any way overpowered. But uh, I do love my Fenrir, so I might uh, consider putting this one in there um, and moving the current pilot I have over to another robot. Uh, the next one, Jade Parks, or Jad Parks, excuse me. Uh, his special ability is uh, for the Mercury, and the Mercury deals increased ability damage. So basically, when you do your Hell Dive, you're going to uh, have uh, some uh, good damage. Now it starts out at five percent. I'm not sure what it what it is uh, in total, uh, but it looks like it's probably going to be at least fifteen percent. Um, so 15% more damage on a hell dive is, is pretty considerable. Uh, I do love running my Mercury. I'm not the greatest Mercury pilot, but, uh, this guy would definitely, uh, find his way into my hangar, uh, if I get him. All right, moving on. Here are the robots that you can win. Now, these are full robots. Uh, we've got the Eldridge Ares here, um, the Fenrir the uh, regular Ares and Ao June. All of these are very useful metabots, uh, so it's uh, it's pretty great that uh, you have a chance to win a complete bot when you're doing the special delivery. Uh, and this one here I'm pretty excited about, modules. Uh, Anti-Control is an amazing module. Um, you see me running it uh, in my live streams, and uh, this thing is totally worth getting. Um, I really hope that I pick a, a couple of these up. And of course, Last Stand. Last Stand is uh, always good to have uh, on just about any robot. I only have one Last Stand uh, on each robot for my main hanger, but uh, I would not be upset if I picked up a few more Last Stands. And then here's a few more uh, legendary pilots. Now these legendary pilots have been in the game for a while. Uh, Adrian being the uh, the most recent release. Um, Adrian is an amazing pilot to have on just about any robot. And of course you have Alika Renner here who pilots the Ao Jun. This is one of the best. Um, one of the best pilots there is. Uh, getting that extra ability damage really makes a difference. And then you've got uh, Minji Novak, who is the Ares legendary pilot. And uh, she she's all right. Um, personally, uh, I wouldn't spend 2500 to buy this one. Um, but, uh, you know, if, if you run a lot of Ares, this one might be worth picking up. 
moving on uh, of course they're gonna put uh, put some uh, components in here uh, they do have to kind of uh, give you a lower end prize or two um, and these components uh, looks like you can pick up 1,000 or 500 components for the various robots with the exception of the Eldritch Ares uh, as the Eldritch Ares cannot be built it has to be won only as a complete prize which uh, hopefully uh, some of you are winning that robot or uh, it's also available in the super chest so that's uh, pretty cool still that they did add those robots to the super chest um, and then finally we're moving over here we've got some uh, good gold prizes here thousand gold would be super um, gold is very hard to come by so uh, I will be happy to take any amount of gold and same with power cells Man, I burned through some power cells uh, playing the game and uh, you know, uh, power cells are always something that's very useful. And uh, I don't remember completely off the top of my head uh, if during the anniversary event there was 3,000 power cells. I don't think there was. I think it was only 1,500. But uh, now at least there is uh, 3,000 power cells or 1,500. Okay, so that is the... Uh, special delivery crate and I will be rolling some of these out here momentarily um, before I get started on that though uh, I do want to remind everybody that Pixonic did say that this coming weekend uh, the 5th through the 7th we will have triple the payout for um, honor points and pilot xp so if you pick up one of these new pilots or you have some pilots that are still working on leveling up uh this weekend is going to be a great time to run them in your hangar uh and of course the uh triple honor points is going to be great so that you can move along this uh this new uh, honor point system towards your highest crate and i think that's kind of it it's a there's not a whole lot to this event, but there are some outstanding prizes and everybody has the opportunity to roll at least once per day. Now, everybody should have received uh, 100 free coins when they logged in this morning, or uh, if you haven't yet logged in today, uh, they should pop up and give you at least one free roll. And uh, I wish you all uh, great luck in getting something that you want. But uh, now I'm going to go ahead and get started on the special delivery rolls. I want to uh, give a quick shout out to Kyan. Thank you very much for helping support the channel. Uh, he is making it positive through his donation for me to uh, roll these out for you and uh, put it in a video. So uh, thank you uh, once again, Kyan, for being a uh, great supporter. Now, here we go, guys. Um, I am going to, uh, you know, I might try a couple of tricks here if uh, things are not going quite too well. But uh, let's go ahead and just, uh, as uh, Eddie Ayala always says, or Islander always says, uh, pray to the Pixonic gods, uh, and, and let's hope we get something good. So here we go, guys. And the uh, first roll, power cells. I will take all the power cells I can get. Rolling again here. All right, 500 Ares components. Uh, I only one run one Ares occasionally. Uh, ooh, there we go, guys. A full weapon, Freedom Igniter. This bad boy is going to, to make his way into my hangar. I'm not exactly sure on what yet, but uh, I will definitely level it up and get you guys some gameplay for that. So that is awesome. Oh, back to back. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Freedom Avalanche. This one looks the best in my opinion. Well, no, actually, I think this one... Uh, well, this one looks really good. Um, but uh, I think, actually, the one that looks the best is probably the uh, Freedom Hussar. Man, that eagle is tight. But, uh, yes, this thing... Uh, I might actually use this. This is this is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and roll again here. Let's, uh, let's hope I... Uh, I, I keep having the Pixonic God smiling on me. All right, Aljun components. Uh, I most recently won an Aljun in my last super chest, so I have two already. Uh, there we go, some gold. And one more roll, and then I will go ahead and back out. And 
Okay, 1500 power cells, awesome. All right guys, let me just back out here. I don't know if this really helps, but this is something that I do try to do. Uh, if I don't go through and actually clear my cache, uh, I just uh, sometimes will go back here, load up the uh, trophy screen or the uh, league screen. Uh, that seems to kind of uh, do like a, almost a force reload on your account. Um, so, you know, let me know if that's something that uh, helps you or if you guys have your own tricks to uh, help get uh, better prizes. So uh, here we go, guys. I'll roll a few more and see what we get. All right, a thousand Aljun components. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Anti-control, baby. This thing is great. Man, I have a couple of these already in my hangar. And uh, wow, th these things are really good. Somebody uh, tries to use lockdown ammo on you or if, uh, you know, an invader jumps and, uh, and uh, tries to suppress you, this thing will prevent them from doing it. Uh, so this is great. I love those things. Keep on rolling here. All right, power cells, power cells, power cells. Man, those things, uh, I burn through a lot of gold getting power cells each week. So I am uh, really happy to get those. All right, so let me go ahead and back out once more. I will try this trick. Okay. Come back in here and let's roll out a few more guys. So, so far, this thing has been amazing. Oh, right on. Man, this thing is just getting better and better. Adrian Chong, right on. That's 2,500 gold savings at least. Um, and uh, wow. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Some more gold. I'm definitely going to need some gold to, uh, to level up some of these weapons. Ooh, 600 gold, I will take that. And uh, let's throw a little bit more out there. Oh, Jad Parks. He's the uh, one of the new ones. And this is the one that uh, runs the Mercury. He will definitely be going into my Mercury. That is amazing. So here we go, guys. Thousand Fenrir components. Wow, I've already got a couple of Fenrirs. Only one leveled up, but uh, well, I'm almost at another one. So that's great. Okay, so let me show you another trick that uh, that I do sometimes. Um, obviously, I'm getting some pretty hot prizes right now, but if it kind of stagnates for you when you're rolling out your prizes, all you got to do is and this is something I showed people during the anniversary event and some of them gave me some feedback saying that it uh, really seemed to help them but uh, basically you're here in the game you're just gonna on iOS you're gonna double tap you're gonna force close the app basically uh, so Android uh, you can use uh, you know whatever method you use for force closing the app you're gonna go into your settings and you are going to find uh, your cache uh, and website history. Basically, you're going to clear history and website data. You hit uh, clear and then you can uh, reopen the game and uh, once the game is open uh, that should, uh, well, it will hopefully uh, increase your chance of uh, getting some good prizes. Now, I've already got some outstanding prizes with this, so I probably didn't need to do it, but uh, I wanted to show you guys another thing that you can do and hopefully it helps. If it does, be sure that, uh, you know, you let me know in the comments. And uh, here we go again. Let's go ahead and uh, roll a few more out and let's see if uh, some of this good luck carries on. All right, 1500 power cells. Love those things. All right, right on. Got that, Husser. This thing is so sexy. I'm hoping that I get two of those so that I can uh, put them on something uh, at least because usually it uh, runs in pairs. But yeah, this thing, uh, amazing looking weapon. Great design. All right. Some more Ao June components. Some more algae components. Now let me go ahead and back out of there. Uh, come back over here to the league. And uh, there we go. 
get back into it and uh, roll some more. All right, some regular Ares components. Oh wow, so there we go, uh, another complete Fenrir. Um, well, through components anyway. Thousand Ares components. 500 Ares components. Ooh, right. Ah, that's a second igniter. That is awesome, guys. That thing is going to do so much damage. 1500 power cells. Some more power cells. And I will take power cells all day long. Ooh, 3000. Nice. I think I already got this one, didn't I? I think I got him earlier. Yes, I did. That's the uh, one for the Mercury. But hey, I, you know, I actually do have more than one Mercury. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, clear my cache one more time. Just to see if that uh, actually does help. Here we go. Clear that. Real quick. Get back into it. And uh, I will roll out the uh, remaining coins here on the uh, special delivery, man. This thing has been outstanding for me. So, uh, yeah, I mean, do me a favor, guys. Let me know uh, if you guys picked up any uh, good prizes or uh, what you guys do think of the prizes that are in the uh, event this time. Uh, so far, I'm really enjoying it. And uh, last couple of rolls here just to finish it up. And we'll see what we get. Some more gold. All right. And last roll here, guys. Ooh, another igniter. Wow. All right. Three igniters. All right. So we'll uh, go ahead and take a look at some of the prizes that I that I picked up. So I picked up one, two, three full igniters, a uh, Hussar and an Avalanche, uh, one anti-control module, two Jad Parks uh, legendary pilots, another Adrian Chong pilot, which is awesome. Uh, quite a few components for uh, different uh, robots. And even if you don't uh, need these robots, don't forget, you can sell those components for silver or you can convert them. Uh, I recommend selling them though. A little bit of gold uh, and some uh, much needed power cells. So yeah, guys, uh, for me anyway, I had some great luck with this one. And uh, I do hope that uh, you guys have some luck as well. But uh, that is going to be it for this video. And, uh, you know, if you like the prizes, if you like the events, go ahead, man. Give me that thumbs up uh, on this video. Like it. Share it. Um, and if you haven't yet, uh, please subscribe. I'm uh, trying to uh, get my su subscribers uh, up there. Uh, I have a goal of reaching 1,000 by the uh, end of the summer. And uh, you know what? Uh, I have a lot of fun making these videos, several live streams each week. So uh, keep an eye out for for that so uh, that's going to be it for this video and until the next video chief out the apocalypse